you know, we had a long drive down yesterday and, uh, and got here last night and checked into our hotel, great hotel, and, you know, kind of just got settled in for the night. So this morning woke up, got our practice gear on, had a great breakfast, and now we're here at practice. And, uh, you know, we get a whole two-hour practice. We're sharing with Southern Miss. We got our first hour done already, got some hitting in, and uh, the girls are loose right now, loose, really lining the ball up well. Um, you know, they seem relaxed, which is really what we want them to play. We want them to play loose and relaxed and confident and, and come out here uh, and, and get a good practice in and then carry that over till tomorrow's game um, against Tulsa. You know, we, we've got to depend on our pitching and defense to keep us in all the games, and now we've just got to really stay loose and focus at the plate and confident. I mean, hitting is all about confidence, so we've got to go up, there, up to bat knowing we're going to drive the ball and hit it every time. So um, in our losses, we just haven't been able to score the runs that we need to score. So we're really focusing on keeping these kids loose and, and ready to go. It's, it's, it's eerily familiar. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is. Um, you come into a tournament setting and all bets are off. And, and that year it was even 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 a little tougher too because uh, we had gone and, and lost, uh, gotten swept by, by Tulsa that year in, in three games. And, and they'd really taken it to us. And, and we went to the conference tournament and had to match up with them first game. And we gave up a home run on the first at bat. But then Jenna threw a no-hitter for the whole rest of the game, and, and we were able to manufacture some runs. And I think uh, this seems kind of similar where we're going to have to manufacture runs um, against Tulsa, and we, we just really want our pitchers to keep us in the game just like Jenna was able to a couple years ago. So, yeah, I, I definitely see the similarities. Um, well, our senior Vanessa, second uh, team all-conference, uh, DP, uh, utility player, I mean, she's done a great job on the mound for us all year. She's done a great job hitting all year, and she's even played some first base for us. I mean, just an all-around player. And she's the type of player that if we can just keep her loose and confident, she's really going to go off this weekend and, and this weekend. And we're really excited for her, and I'm really proud of her. She's definitely earned it over her two years, and, and I think that's just kind of a culmination of her career and, and really uh, bringing it to the end here on a high note. So hopefully we'll keep it going for a few more weeks. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of her for, for earning that honor. Um, Leilani, yeah, just uh, just an elite outfielder in this league. She really does a great job, triple threat at the plate. I mean, anytime you have someone who can bunt, slap, or swing away, it, it really plays havoc with the defense and uh, really proud that, that, that she was uh, honored with this award and that the other coaches recognized her skills as well. Um, and then Carly Hummel, all freshman team, you know, I think this is just the first of many awards that this kid's going to win here. So um, she just needs to, to, to get stamina, build her stamina up, you know, so that she can go through and really power through for an entire season, um, throwing more games even, and uh, getting all her pitches to work. And we talk about how often they work, 70, 80, 90 percent of the time, uh, by missing locations only by like two inches or less, and, and where we're at each week. And, and I think as, as soon as we, uh, we grow her a little bit, she's going to be 90 percent all the time on all our pitches and, and uh, watch out. I think it's just a, a great honor for the University of Memphis um, to have these kids representing them on the ball kind of team.